What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Wolf from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. A little dark in here tonight. Uh, you might not be able to see me up here in my little bubble. I don't know. I've got, let me turn on another monitor. I got all my monitors turned off. Uh, now let me uh, minimize this. You'll probably be able to see a little better. Ah, there we go. All right. So here's another rover shot. This is from uh, 177. This is a picture of the tires. Look at the tires before they got all beat up. I'll tell you what. It, uh, they look horrible now. But in this shot, it looks like there's some peekaboo things in the background. I love these shots because they're, they're done with this molly cam. I tell you what, even though they're focused here, even the stuff in the background kind of looks better. Here's a picture from it right here, 177. Um, somebody sent this to me over. Ah, somebody sent this over to me, and I think it was JK. Um, I'm not 100% sure though, and he had sent me a couple things because it was it was interesting. There was something down here. It looks like like some coinage or something like that, or at least some very shiny. Uh, definitely a lot shinier than the stuff around it. See that? It almost looks like a quarter. <laughs> I know I'm gonna get more people say, "Are you sure this thing's not in uh you know not in Arizona?" And then this thing here, this rock. I'm gonna just turn it around a little bit, kind of get it even. Look at this. Look how this rock is almost like hollow. And it's got this thing going up the center. It almost looks like more like a piece of metal. And a small piece of metal. Because look at the rover size of the rover. I mean, you're talking uh, maybe a baseball size piece. But it definitely you know, has an opening at the end. And then there's like a weird seam. Almost looks like a uh, baseball or something. Who knows? Here you've also got some interesting... Look at these right next to each other, just with two little balls on it. That almost looks like something like a light bulb socket we'd see here on Earth. Which, of course, you know, I'm just relating what I see here on Earth to that, um, to Mars. You know, I see what I see, you see what you see. Up here, there's some really interesting things. This uh, looks to be, this looks like it was ornate and it came from something at one time. And even here, you've got some, uh, a lot of the patterns here. Just don't look to be random, you know, just if you look at the rest of the stuff, it just kind of doesn't really fit in. And check this through here, peekaboo through here. See this? Tell me that doesn't look like a piece of metal. And it's coming down um, up here. seems to be shaped down. It comes across and it comes over. It's got a, a boxy, you know, one, 190 degrees. There's 80, 180. I mean, the angles on these things can be amazing. Here's another one right here. 90 degree perfect angle coming around but right here though it seems like something's going on right there and it, I think the rover wanted to see exactly what it was it came up to it and uh, let me know what you guys think about that and what I thought was kind of cool gosh look how this was back a little while ago the rover <laughs> definitely has changed it's the wheels look horrible now whoever designed the wheels on these things should be fired uh, I do not not know why they sent it up like they did. Check this. Uh, so this is interesting, I thought, little rock. But out here in the distance is what really I thought was more interesting. I'm, like, so I'm going to keep this short because there's not really too much, you know, other than this going on. Um, let me see if we can't do some auto color. Oops, edit. Step backwards, step backwards. Let me do edit. Auto color. And then we're going to do some adjustments with the exposure. Ooh, it's going to get dark. The couple pieces I'm looking at right here, and there's like this long cylindrical piece here. And then there's this piece that comes up and goes down. It's not uniform. Doesn't look like, but it does look like it's the entrance to something. It looks kind of small, like there's just a dark entrance there. It be what it may, it might be nothing. You know what I mean? This one, like I said, I'm not going overboard saying this is absolutely this or absolutely that. But uh, you do get to see a glimpse of uh, some interesting stuff. Like up here, too, there's another perfect triangle. And it's standing straight up. I mean, look at that. Right up over it. And then you've got some image artifacts. I think these are image artifacts. I don't think this is a uh, craft or a bird. But I don't know. It could be. You know, I, these aren't in every Molly picture. So that could be something in the air. And you know what? It actually looks like it's moving, whatever it is. Uh, you see around it there? You, you would think if it was an image artifact, it would be a little different. This thing here seems to be a nice size. It looks like it's cut off, but it could be a canoe. See how in the middle there's a little bit of a divot to it? 
Like I said, we're not getting too intrigued by this one, but I definitely thought it was uh, one to take a look at and at least to show you guys because there are some interesting things coming up over here. There are some arches, and here's one right here. It's an arch, and it, you can see through it. See it there? One arch, and then there's what well, looks like two more arches. Um, pretty cool. Let's see if we can uh, adjust the auto contrast. Let's give it some contrast. Can you see it there? There's the one arch right there. And then there's another arch right here. And you can't see under it because it's behind it. So you don't know if it actually goes totally under it. But it definitely looks like it's there. And these blocks just look to be strewn about. But they look to have... Uh, some, like they look like they were cut for a certain purpose. Um, I mean, that's all I could really say about it. That's all I can really leave it at there. Because uh, this one too seems to be cut for a purpose. It's just the way they look. Seem to have uh, shapes. They just don't seem to be too random, but once again, what is this little thing over here? Any guesses on this? Let's see if we can uh, exclude. But when I flip it, it always gets a little weird. Let me see. Image and auto color. The little circle at the top is what gets me here. It, it's almost like it's a. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what do you guys think about that? There's like little holes here in it, some uh, spheres there, and then at the top it's just kind of sitting there with that. Very interesting to me. I don't know why that just interests me. Once again, these small little rocks. It's amazing the uh, angles that these have in it. This almost looks like a tool. See, it's got one, that angle right there comes down, comes back. And then this looks like it should have gone through there the whole way. But even this is comes around like this and it goes in a circle and it comes back down like that and it's about the same distance from there it is here I don't know it looks like an F I've got some good writing stuff coming up on some other videos I, I'm gonna get back to some of my moon videos there's so much stuff out there that needs to be looked at this just kind of looks like metal thrown about see that little like some copper or here you've got a perfectly round this shape thing and, oh, and this was the one that looked like it was that had a. Uh, it looks like a piece of something. I see. I mean, I just bought a new vacuum today, and it looks like like the the piece you push into the other piece, like to the tube. It looks like something should be going into there, and it was like standing upright. I hope you guys can see that because it's a nice sized piece there, and it looks like it's got something that comes up and over. But it looks like it would take a pole or something in it. More and more of that shiny, look at that shiny, whatever that stuff is. Here there's a little bit more of it. Another circle piece of it there. Not really sure what that goes there. And then, uh, like I said, not, not a whole bunch on here. You guys can uh, hit like if you want. This is definitely something right here. If I had to look at something and say this this looks random out of everything, this kind of looks like a spark plug or something like that. And maybe it worked with this thing here. Maybe this was, this is why the rover went over here. Maybe something's going on with this, this stuff right here. Okay, let's see. It's so hard to do it when I've got it spun like I do. All right, image, auto color. There's definitely some interesting stuff going on in this. And that looks to me like some sort of metal or something, something else, you know. It's hollowed out. It looks like it's got like a, a outspout there. Not sure. I'm gonna leave this one up to you guys and send it. Send it to the choir. Send it to the people. Here, there's some more. Uh, look at that. This goes in, cuts out 90 degrees up there. Where this goes in and just does a 180 perfect circle. Looks like you could stick a circle right in there and it would fit. More here. Look at this. More what seems to be cut stones. See this comes up like that and it comes down and around. I don't know. I could go for hours. A lot of people think I just go from stone to stone and say, oh, that looks like something or that looks like something. In, in a way, that's kind of what I do. But I think a lot of this, uh, you know, looks like it came off of something. Like there was more ornate buildings here at one time. Something smashed up into Mars. And this is what we got. So 
little beat today, guys. Just wanted to bring you this picture. It's been sitting here for a while. I got a lot of good stuff coming up. I'm going to put some time into. Promise you that. Um, I keep doing these. I can't help doing the long videos. I think I showed you guys this here. This looks to be perfectly cut. This is uh, like a pillar. Then we've got our... Those are just interesting. Those that definitely shows the there's definitely been some weathering on this planet. Most likely some of it's water. Look at that. Those two arches. So, and also I didn't mention this thing right there. It's kind of interesting. I would love to know what you guys think about it. Um, and like I said, I've got some more interesting ones coming up here soon. These aren't any. No, there's nothing smoking gun here. But these little arches are pretty kind of pretty neat. This this might be like I said. This might all be natural stuff on Mars. I don't know. I'm going with the fact that some of this stuff is probably from the other civilization we're finding. I mean, this right here seems to be a perfect cove. This almost looks like a sarcophagus or something like that, a box that's turned on its side. But maybe not, because up there it looks like it could be part of it. Maybe it's been hollowed out or something like that as a bench. I see what I see. You see what you see. And like I said, I equate stuff to here on Earth. That's what I do. That's how I do it. What's up in the sky, 37 guys, www.whatsupinthesky.com. I love you guys for all your support, everything you've done. You guys have sent me so many pictures and just kept me going. And uh, I've got some really good stuff coming out here soon. I've been waiting on it. I've been sitting on it, especially some moon stuff and uh, a couple Saturn things. And I, I know I've been promising it for a while, but after I just got the pool done, like I said, I was, if you're new to my channel, I, I kind of introduce my they, people my subscribers know a lot about me who i'm dating at the time <laughs> it's so funny and i do mars videos but the pool i did the above ground pool and i had to put a liner in it so did that today it's just been a nightmare every single bolt to take everything apart was rusted shut had to get a dremel so it's been wonderfully uh, i'm still trying to get a video out a day so i also work full-time job and i've been able to do it it might slow down for a little bit, but once it does, the quality is going to come way back up, at least in my eyes, you know. So, much love, guys. Take it easy. I wish I could know you all. Much love.